I'm going to be sharing with you five underrated track mods for a set of course and if you've not got these five in your collection you are missing out. These tracks have fast corners, slow corners, chicanes, serious elevation changes. Some are technically challenging, but all of them are just a blast to drive on. Now, I will be showing you how to install all of these track mods that you're about to see at the end of the video, so stick around for that. First up, it's Area 27, and this is a racetrack in British Columbia in Canada, and it was designed and engineered and constructed by professional race car drivers. Now the great Jack Villeneuve and his team helped design it and it comprises of 4.82 kilometers in length with 19 turns and it has it all. It has fast corners, slow corners. There are some serious blind crests where you're just praying that you've planted the car exactly in the right place and there's nothing you can do about it if you haven't. It's been called Area 27 as a tribute to Jack's father, the Canadian F1 legend Gilles Villeneuve, who proudly displayed the number 27 whilst driving for Ferrari. Now, this track mod has been produced by Nuke Drop, and for those that don't know, he produces some great examples of real tracks and of fake tracks. The car is the 1997 Williams FW19 from the VRC modding team. Links to all the tracks and the cars that you see will be down in the description below. Next up, it's Sonoma Raceway, which is located about an hour north of San Francisco, and it's the largest motorsports facility in Northern California. It has three racing configurations, a 2.52 mile road course, it has a 1.99 mile road course, and a quarter mile drag strip. The road course features more than 160 feet of elevation changes from its highest point at turn 3A, which is 174 feet, to its lowest point at turn 10, which is only 14 feet. The track mod is from the Reboot team and the car is the GTM Mercer V8 from Race Sim Studio. Again, links down in the description below. Next up is Circuit de Charade. It's a motorsports racetrack in central France which was built around the base of an extinct volcano. The original version of the track was just over 8 kilometers in length and has been described as even faster and twistier than the Nürburgring. It had a relentless number of elevation changes and sharp turns which apparently caused some drivers during the 1969 French Grand Prix to complain of motion sickness which led them to wearing open face helmets just in case they were sick. The track was then later shortened to just under 4 kilometers in length which used only the southern part of the original track. Now this track can be found on Race Department and the car is the original Kunos Lotus 72D. Next up is the Brno circuit, I hope I've pronounced that correctly, in the Czech Republic and it originally opened in 1930 using public roads which stretched for almost 30 kilometers in length. The modern circuit which doesn't incorporate any public roads was opened up in 1987 and during its history it's hosted everything from world superbike races, the MotoGP, touring cars, GT1 to GT4, the Porsche Carrera Cup, Formula Renault, F3 and F2 and many, many more. Now the version of the track that you're seeing is the modern circuit. You can get that from the Assetto Corsa Club. Again, links down in the description below. There's also a 3D trees update that's been made uh, and some track mesh updates that's been made for that track on race department. And I will show you how to install those at the end of the video. And also, if you wanted to race on the original 1965 version of the track, there's also a link down in the description below for that too. The car is the Honda NSX GT3 ACC mod by the GT Planet modding team. Mm -hmm. 
And our last track takes us back to Canada and to the second oldest existing racetrack in the country. It's located in the shadows of the Mont Tremblant ski hill and boasts 15 twisting corners using natural topography and elevation of the land. Now, legendary race driver Bruce McLaren is apparently credited as a contributor to the design of the track. It's played host to the 1968 and 1970 F1 Grand Prix, IndyCar, the Can-Am series, the Trans-Am series and many, many more. Now the track mod is available on race department and the car is the Lotus Type 49 from Kunos. Now once you've downloaded these track mods you're simply going to drag and drop them into Content Manager and let it install them for you. Now for the Burno track there is a 3D trees update pack that also includes track meshes too but you can't install this by dragging and drop it into Content Manager. Now we need to know where our Assetto Corsa root folder is and if you don't know open up Steam, right click on Assetto Corsa, choose properties then click on installed files and then click on browse and that's going to open a folder which is the root folder for your Assetto Corsa installation. Next open the file that you downloaded from race department using 7-zip and this is the contents that you'll see on the left hand side with our Assetto Corsa root folder on the right hand side. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into content, you're going to go into tracks, you're going to find the Berno circuit track as shown and then you're going to drag and drop the contents from the archive there on the left hand side. Now I've already got this installed so it's going to ask me do I want to replace the files and I'm going to say yes but you won't see that. And that's it, 3D trees are installed for the Burno track. Now if you're looking to get photorealistic graphics in Assetto Corsa then check out the video on screen where I show you how to do it in just three easy steps. <laughs> 